This is Hidden Valley. I'll tell you what you need to know about this great Kitchener neighborhood starting right now. Hey, it's Andrew Shackleton, Kitchener Waterloo real estate broker, Drew at home.com. So Hidden Valley, this is a South End Kitchener neighborhood bounded by the Grand River and Highway 8 to the north, east and south. Your western boundary is Fairway Road and the industrial lands that are to the west of Wabanaki. Getting around this neighborhood is actually surprisingly easy despite the fact it seems so secluded and hidden like the name says. You've got almost instant access to, the, to Highway 8 via Fairway Road and that'll take you to the 401 in about a minute or will take you to the expressway going the other way in about 10 seconds. Fairway Road though certain times of day is really quite busy so your other choices for getting to the 401 or getting to the expressway is to hop on Manitou and head down to Homer Watson and either go north or south. That's another choice it's a little bit longer but sometimes you know depending on the traffic that might be your better choice. Now for Hidden Valley there really isn't anything in the way of public transit at all. There's one bus that runs along the western boundary but that's it. Crazy thing is though, you've got LRT access right across Fairway Road in Fairview Mall. That's where it stops. Okay, what about things to do here in Hidden Valley? The neighborhood has kind of a almost rural feel to it. There's tons and tons of bush all through here. Uh, I'll pop a picture up of me mountain biking here just last year. Uh, the natural part of Hidden Valley is, is amazing and uh, it, it st still hasn't been developed. Uh, other choices, uh, Nature-wise would be the south end of the neighborhood. You've got Homer Watson Park in there. It's acres and acres and acres of land as well. All backs on onto the Grand River. And if you're a canoeist or a fisherman, uh, Hidden, Hidden Valley is a perfect neighborhood for that. If you've got kids, if you've got active kids looking for stuff to do, you've got the Activa Sportsplex over in Country Hills. That's got ice rinks, soccer pitches. It's, it's perfect for, uh, for sports-minded kids. And then you've got Chicopee, across Highway 8. Zip lining, snowboarding, skiing, that's a good outing too. Other choices for your kids, you would, uh, you could take them to the uh, Waterloo Regional Museum. There's a Dune Village historic site in there. There's three choices for golf. You've got Deer Ridge across the river, which is private. Uh, actually, there's four. There's a, there's a public course there as well. And then you've got two more public courses on this side of Highway 8. You've got uh, Dune Valley Golf and Country Club, and then Whistle Bear, just south of the 401. So four golf courses within, you know, five minutes of here. Uh, close, definitely close. How about for bite to eat, that kind of stuff for the grown-ups? Well, you've got Sports World Crossing. That's uh, over by the Deer Ridge neighborhood. Tons of, you know, high-end stores, big box stores. Good, good selection in there. And then you've got the whole strip along Fairway Road, and of course, Fairview Mall itself being completely rebuilt. So those are a couple of great choices as well. And where Hidden Valley is for, you know, getting to Cambridge to go out for uh, a bite to eat or into downtown Kitchener, you're really close to either uh, just due to the location of this neighborhood. Okay, now, what about grocery choices? So there's nothing in Hidden Valley itself, but groceries are super close. You've got a Walmart and a Food Basics on Fairway Road. There is a Zares and a Freshco on Weber Street. You've got two more Zares, one of them in Pioneer Park, the other on Ottawa. There's a Freshco on Westmount. There's a brand new Sobeys in Williamsburg. And lastly, there's a No Frills in Strasburg Plaza. So yeah, I think I listed off about eight stores right there. No shortage of grocery stores in this area. Okay, what about the schools for Hidden Valley? Well, to be honest, a lot of the people living here in Hidden Valley, either the kids are gone or their kids are going to be going to private school. That's just the nature of this community. But if your kids were going to the public system, it's Howard Robertson for the little kids. Seven and eight is Sunnydale. Uh, and then your high school is Eastwood. If your kids are going to the Catholic board for the little kids, it is uh, St. Alicia's and your high school is St. Mary's over in Country Hills. Okay, now let's talk about the housing here in Hidden Valley. As I mentioned a couple times in this video, the neighborhood has an almost rural feel to it that dates back from middle of last century. 
there's actually still working farms in here. There's still agricultural land being worked. And along the ring road, you're gonna find smaller homes on great big lots, as is typical in a rural area. Now, a lot of those properties have been bought up and they've been redeveloped with, you know, gorgeous, really estate level homes along certain sections of that ring road, particularly along where the Grand River sits. This is also true in the south end where they built, uh, they built out, you know, brand new streets with similarly gorgeous homes. I gotta say one thing though, this, this neighborhood is who is your architect and, and what is your budget? It really is that upscale for the newer builds. And hands down for Kitchener, Waterloo and Cambridge, Hidden Valley is probably the nicest neighborhood by far that you're gonna find in our area. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Thanks so much for watching and have yourself an awesome day.